Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we will see something else. Many of you have asked me that how to see struggles and how do we know that we will be successful after the struggles in life, alright. So here is one of the difficult charts that I have taken and this person has been very successful in life but after a lot and lot and lot of struggle okay so today we will see what are the placements and how do we see struggle and then we see success after uh, the struggle of a person okay so there you go if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you he will help you to see these struggles and overcome them okay so now before starting this i would again give the disclaimer that many of these positions the difficult ones rather might be there in your chart also or in somebody else who you know but they may have some other good placements which may nullify them okay nullify does not mean that the negativity will not be there but the positivity will eventually override them so there will be things in this video which i will say which you might exactly have so please do not think that those things will also happen to you okay so please do not read the chart in isolation read it uh, from read it from the bird's eye view where we see all the combinations and then we try to integrate so let us see the kendra here the Kendra represents the living space, what the person is doing. And you see here that the Kendra is bereft of any of the natural benefits. So here, uh, Mars, Rahu, Ketu, they are natural malefics as we all know. So be because there are no other benefits like Jupiter, Moon, Mercury, Venus, this relatively makes the life of the person very difficult and very challenging. And because of this, the person can feel that he or she continuously needs to keep struggling okay now this is one thing but here Rahu is a ruler of the ascendant also because Aquarius has two lords Saturn and Rahu so Rahu is uh, going to give good results for the ascendant so because of this this person has obtained a very high level of name and fame because the ruler of the ascendant is itself in the uh, first house and apart from this if you see Mars here is the ruler of the 10th house also because Mars rules Scorpio. So whenever the 10th Lord is in the Lagna or the Lagna Lord is in 10th, this is a very, very, very powerful combination for name and fame. But because they are natural malefics, it will give you a lot of struggle and only after that you will have name and fame. Okay. So the yogas for success and name fame is there, but after a lot of struggle okay then let us see the seventh house the seventh house also governs name and fame because it is the tenth from the tenth house and scorpio also has two lords like aquarius so the other lord of scorpio is considered to be ketu and if you see here one lord of the tenth house is in the lagna and the other is in the seventh house of name and fame this is also very good for one's position post authority and because of that this person has also got a lot of name fame post position and authority in his life but again ketu is also a malefic so this will also give some struggle this can uh, give some discontinuity uh, in relationships with people now that will depend on the chart on which people are this which which are the people that ketu may discontinue so if you see here uh, the lord of this seventh house which is sun is in the eleventh house which is very good so because of that uh, marriage should not be a problem which means that there should not be much issues in married life apart from the fact that Ketu can do some issues some problems here and uh, when I had asked this person uh, the person had told me that the person had faced some challenges during the K during uh, the Antar Dashas of Ketu especially the person always faces some challenges what kind of challenges he faces is he says that uh, I kind of feel like not staying with my uh, wife. I feel like going uh, out of marriage. But then again, when Veena Santa Dasha comes, because Veena Santa Dasha always comes after Ketu, so the person again feels that, oh, I need to stay with the family again. Okay, Venus is in the 11th house. We can see that. Okay, 
now the next thing we need to say is the position of the planets moon and jupiter in trines okay so this shows that the inherent disposition of the person is very good which means inherently the person is very positive and jupiter also aspects moon with its ninth aspect here in this chart okay and because of that the person is inherently very positive by nature because moon is in a fifth house fifth house is one of the very good houses which a planet can be in fact five and nine are the best houses where any planet can be especially benefic so thank goodness that this person has good planets in trine so basically when a person has full of malefic planets in kendra and benefics in trines it shows that the person's inherent disposition is very positive very good but uh, the activities in life which he encounters could be filled with struggles okay that can be shown in this chart now apart from that if you see here he has uh, quite a lot of planets in the 11th house okay if you see here he has sun mercury and venus in the 11th house which is fantastic for money name fame position authority so as i said in one of my videos earlier that for name and fame we need to check especially the lagna the 10th house and the 11th house these three houses are primarily the house of name and fame and also we need to check the fifth house because fifth house is also showing promotions because it shows loss of job and getting another job because if you check the 10th house if you go eight houses from here you land to the fifth house so the fifth house 11th house has natural benefits three benefits are there and the fifth house is aspected by another benefit jupiter so this is fantastic and the 10th lord is sitting in the lagna and the other lagna lord rahu is in the lagna and the other seven 10th lord is in the seventh house so these are good things for his post and position now apart from that if you take aquarius as the lagna saturn is in the third house so because of this the person can have to do some new initiatives new endeavors because third house is the house of uh, efforts and new initiatives new endeavors and that to saturn is in debility here so whenever the lagna lord is in debility the person might feel that all his efforts are not being rewarded as it should have been or the person is not able to do much that he expected he will do okay that can happen here uh, and here uh, you see third house is also considered to be one of the dusthanas yes 3 6 8 12 although 6 8 12 are primarily dusthanas but third house is also considered to be quite a dusthana here and if you see uh, mars is also in the lagna mars is although it's the 10th lord but uh, the mool trikon sign of mars which is aries is falling in the uh, third house so mars is primarily the ruler of the third house then and then it is the ruler of the 10th house so when the third lord is in the lagna or the lagna lord is in third or there is a parivartan between the first lagna lord and the third lord as it is here mars is in the sign of saturn and saturn is in the sign of mars it can show that the person has to take too many new initiatives so suppose this person is uh, working in a company so that can happen that uh, this person uh, is not able to do the things which everybody else can do and the person has to do something else to get the same results which the other uh, employees are getting okay so that can happen in the company not all the time and as i said this saturn is debilitated also and aquarius is also not a very good sign for mars to be in because aquarius shows collectivism and doing things together with others which mars does not like uh, so because of that there can be struggles in life okay but the other things which which are to be seen is the strength of sun and moon you see uh, moon is in a fifth house although not in a very great sign because uh, gemini can i mean uh, it is a good sign uh, but sometimes gemini people can be too much fluctuating okay uh, and moon uh, moon although moon doesn't ca consider mercury to be its enemy but somehow moon and mercury do not gel very well so uh, because one is showing intelligence and another is showing intellect uh, so, sorry one is showing emotions and the other is showing intellect so uh, when moon and mercury are linked some way these issues can come up the person thinks that should i be emotional sometimes or should i be uh, logical sometimes okay so those struggles can be there uh, and apart from that if you see sun is in a very good sign it is in the 11th house it is in a very friendly sign sagittarius 
and 11th house is naturally a very uh, powerful house in Kali Yuga. So these are the factors which uh, land up giving him uh, success eventually although after lots of struggle and if you also see uh, sun and moon are seven houses apart which means that this is uh, almost like a full moon may not be exactly but moon is receiving all the light of the sun and this person is able to do uh, work very properly because moon is also the ruler of the sixth house of work and labor okay so when the sixth lord is receiving the full aspect of sun this can also be very good and if you see here uh, the sixth lord and seventh lord are in a uh, mutual aspect yes sixth lord is sun and uh, sorry sixth lord is moon and seventh lord is sun so because of that they are uh, quite in harmony although this can create struggles in marriage and difficulties in marriage because of many reasons that the uh, karaka for women which is venus for men I mean wife Venus is placed in an enemy sign but it's placed in a good house so eventually women will give him lot of gains okay and uh, the Lord of the seventh house is also in a very good house and in a friendly sign so these are the good things and uh, this sixth Lord seventh Lord mutual aspect is a difficult one and placement of a natural malefic in the seventh house is also a different difficult one and Venus being in an enemy sign, although uh, Sagittarius is an enemy sign for Venus, but still I have seen in my uh, research that Venus in Sagittarius uh, does quite good because Sagittarius is the natural ninth house of the zodiac. The person is very much optimistic about relationships and that's a very good thing to have. have. And apart from that, if you see the natural Karaka for, uh, I mean, Dharma in one way, which is Jupiter, which also signifies marriage in one way uh, jupiter uh, is in the ninth house it is very strong there okay and it's in the sign of libra which is uh, not very great of course but house wise it is quite good so because of that the person is quite spiritual in nature and jupiter aspects the lagna and that makes the native quite positive although the native is very high headstrong because uh, there are planets like mars and rahu in the ascendant which can give too much anger sometimes okay so these are the placements which this person has so most of the charts you will see will be like this uh, they will have a lot of difficulties and then they will have uh, success some of them will have some of them will not have okay and uh, as i always say in other videos also i will repeat here that there are many other things like germany system has atma karaka and amatya karaka i'm ignoring all those things here because this is a part of the basics playlist and many people uh, have said Oh, this chart has this parivartan, that parivartan. There are hundreds of combinations. We can go on, on and on and on talking about all of them, okay? But uh, I will only take those combinations which are required to focus on the topic which this video is related. So, the combinations which give struggle and then success, I have displayed here, okay? So, there you go. If you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a personal consultation regarding your chart and you want to know in which areas you will be successful or not and then you can go to my website you will find the link in the description of the video below okay and until next time wish you good luck with another example chart bye bye see you